Welcome to Skill Builder, and we've got another, what I hope is a fascinating conversation coming up with Clive Drummond of In My Yard. And I love this idea you've got. Basically, just, just explain to people very quickly what it is and, and how it works, because I think it's something that's been needed for a long time. In My Yard is a platform where tradespeople, DIYers, handymen, sort of trade suppliers, commercial trade suppliers can buy and sell those items. So materials, machinery, tools, equipment. So anything people have got left over or anything like me when I'm looking in my lockup and I'm thinking, I'm never going to use that again or I'm only going to use it very rarely. I could hire it probably rather than letting it take up space. We can put that on your site, on your website. Mm -hmm. And we can pass it on to somebody else, obviously, for some money, hopefully. You're totally right, Roger. You know, the, the money is the one aspect. But also, as we all know, who, who sort of work on site, um, even if you sort of end up throwing all these items in the skip, which is actually one of the other motivations for us to sort of do our bit for the environment where we can. Because obviously, I actually, as I'm sitting today and sitting in a in a new build sort of townhouse, albeit we've been here for about a year, but obviously they're completing the site across from me. And every day I see mm. stuff going into skips. I think they're getting better as an industry, yeah, don't get yeah. me wrong, but there's just so yeah. much wastage. Um, and you sort of think, surely this could be put to a, a better use. Absolutely. It breaks my heart. When I, in fact, my wife would testify to this, that when we're driving around, or even walking around as we've been walking around during lockdown quite a lot, you know, and I'm yeah, always yeah. nosing in skip, always looking at stuff, and she's saying, leave it there, leave it there, don't bring it back. <laughs> yeah, have uh, we got enough car. room yeah, been, to take it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She spent years trying to get rid of all the stuff that I've squirreled away, you know, in the garden. Do we really need this? That's her favourite phrase, and she's right. We don't really need it, and I should get rid of it, but it's just too much hassle to put it onto eBay or somewhere else. But obviously, if we've got something like that, and sometimes, like you say, it's a question of just keeping it out of my skip. If I can get rid of it and make no money, but it means it's gone to a good home. I use free cycle quite a bit. That's very, very effective free cycle because people turn up almost you know within minutes of posting things that they're on your doorstep. So I like all that. I yeah, like this is the, yeah, this is the idea as well. You've hit the nail right on the head there. It's not always about making money. It's about saving money. You know, you have to pay for that skip or you have to pay you know, whether you're sort of paying to dump it, so obviously from a commercial point of view, um, you, you know, those costs you can save if you just give things to people. So, you know, yeah. it's, but again, yeah. obviously, I think one of the one of the sort of harder aspects, I suppose, that the industry is facing at the moment is everyone's so busy and it's sort of, you know, r running around um, trying to do a million and one jobs and it's having the time to do it. And I suppose with our site, once you got past the initial registration process which to be honest is very straightforward anyway um it really is a, a case of if you were on site and you knew you'd have half a pack of blocks left over click click few pictures you know write a quick description post it up and hopefully you, you know somebody down the road can come and and collect it and that really is the idea it's sort of you've got the local aspect where you can be sort of helping each other out locally and making some money or saving it. And then you've got the um, national aspect, as in, you know, we've already got a um, an artificial grass company has taken up a store on there. Uh, we've got a turf company. They're going to be putting some more bits on there. Um, so we're starting to get, oh, and actually we've got a great paving company that are, are up in Scotland, I think, that have set up a store on there. So those are national companies that will deliver throughout the UK. So, um, you know, it's not just if you were sort of sitting there at the end of the year, uh, sort of, or, you, you know, every end of the month or how often you do it, thinking, where am I going to get my materials from for the for sort of foreseeable future? You could jump on there and think, great, well, these guys have got paving that's far cheaper than someone down the road from me, but they'll deliver it. Yeah. Great, as we all know. So it's sort of both aspects, really, local and sort of national. So you're hoping to get merchants. Obviously, you've got to make some money out of this site, and you're hoping to get some merchants and various people, manufacturers, advertising posting on your site that they've got things available which um, is, is fine so 
from the point of view of the person like me who wants to use your site, is there a fee involved in that or not? One thing that we wanted to do from the off to get sort of as many people on there as possible, and to be honest, we probably will keep it um, longer term, is the free option. So if you're a tradesperson, you can go on there, you can sign up and you can put three items a month on to, um, to sell. Um, obviously, you've got, yeah. li- like um, you would imagine, slight limitations to what we call the top trader membership, which um, you pay just £9 a month for. And um, and you can have 25 adverts, you can have more photos, you get instant messenger. Um, and So there's sort of a few more bells and whistles, if you like, in terms of membership. Yeah. But there is a free option. So if it's someone like yourself who's got the odd thing they want to sell, get it on there. Part of the reason for doing that is we just want it to be a busy site. You're totally right. From a commercial perspective, we then, it's a sort of chicken and egg, really. If we can get lots of tradespeople on there using it for free, then we can entice the commercial people, which obviously will generate revenue for us, which we can obviously then have apps and various different goals that we want to have. But it just means that those free members will then be able to sort of make use of these larger businesses and and hopefully some sort of deals in terms of materials or whatever it might be that they're selling. So you get the best of both worlds. So, you know, it's that's a very attractive thing. If you can use the site for free, yeah. jump on and do it. You gain critical mass on these things. You, you can really start to move it on because, you you know, the, the, the world's your oyster. Then there are all kinds of things like trades, needing trades and, so which can be built off the back of it. But the idea, I love the name. I think in my yard is perfect. I know the Americans call their back garden their yard, but for us, for builders, um, it, it very often is a yard that we've got. And this is in it. my case, my back garden is my yard. Like I say, it shouldn't be, but it is. And um, I need to get rid of some stuff. And interestingly, I think that um, a lot of the big builders, I know some builders, uh, property developers mainly, who don't have a yard they don't have anything and what they do is they are really they're just really ruthless about getting rid of everything after the job i know nothing at all you know and you see you see them putting wheelbarrows on to the skip at the end of a job they're putting everything on there because the the cost of moving that stuff from job to job or storing it in the yard and then getting it back out and that you've always got this constant problem of you don't know what you've got in your yard after a while. You've got so much stuff in there. You need something, you go and buy it. And then you realize, Oh no, I've already got that. You know, I've just been bought yep. it again. So in a way, if you're keeping for stuff for more than a year or two, you've forgotten what it is. It's probably gone out of condition for some reason or another bag of old plaster or whatever. And, um, and, and really, there's just no point in keeping it. You know, I really wish I'd I'd started down that route a long time ago of just getting rid of stuff. What you just described is brilliant. And, and again, you're sort of touching on, on the points of the site, really. Um, we want to get it to, to that point where, um, where if somebody is on site and they've got, you know, whatever it might be, some bricks or, as you say, uh, wheelbarrow, what, whatever it is they want to get rid of, um, you know, it's a speed thing, isn't it? Because you're finishing the job. You want to get on to your next job. Yeah. Things will go straight in the skip. You almost haven't got time to sell or to give them someone else or whatever. And it will take a while for us to get to that point where it's, you know, your sort of go to in terms of your tradesperson, whether you're a plumber, builder, whatever you might be doing. And you've got those bits left over or you're coming towards the end of the job. You think, right, I'm going to be off site tomorrow. I need to get rid of these bits that you can put them on there. And someone down the road can go, great, I need them. Or even a DIY, you know, perhaps you've got six slabs left and a a DIY is like, you know, I want want them to go in front of my shed. I don't want to buy a whole pack or I don't want to pay full price. And, you you know, £10 is better than nothing to you and to them. They're like, great. You know, join the dots. It is going to be the DIYers who are going to love this because, you know, obviously the building trades like us, you know, we've got we got one pack of bricks left over. You know, we may have 500 bricks there, you know, which have, you know, for one reason or another, you've overordered or whatever. But all the big sites have this. They, they just, you see it, just, you know, there'd be a pallet load of bricks. They don't want to take those away again. So for a DIYer to go, oh, look, there's 500 bricks here. I can pick them up for 50 quid or whatever. Absolutely perfect because, you know, bricks being nearly a quid each now, you know, they're not a small item. And if you could get that many 
you know, from a surplus uh, site. That, that'd be fantastic, I think. Really. Well, well, I'll give you a great example. And obviously the site's only just got up and running. We ourselves, as I mentioned, have got a yard full of leftover materials. Now, the first person we had um, gets uh, in touch with us to send a message through to Matthew. Uh, I should apologise, actually. Obviously, Matthew isn't available this morning because he's running the landscaping company on site. Hence, it's, yeah, it's just me. Um, yeah. But... Um, he he got in touch with us and uh, he was after some grass guard uh, marshals blocks. I don't know if you know the ones I mean, where oh, obviously yeah, yeah. tend to get them out yeah. in front of fire stations, etc., with grass growing through. And um, yeah. we had, I can't remember, 30 or 40 sort of left over. And he'd been trying to get hold of these, but obviously in a small quantity, um, had been struggling, lived in Sutton. So he was, you know, a good hour away from us, but he got his son to travel down and, and get them from us. And he said, you know, I searched on Google and, and, and you came up and um, and it's ideal for me. I just want to do a little extension to my driveway. They're, they're actually roofers. So it's not quite within their sort of remit, but um certainly uh yeah that was that was the first example so a handful of blocks to extend a driveway but he was like great i don't need to buy a pallet you know i don't or i don't have to travel further afield you're only an hour away so people are sort of generally willing to travel a little bit for the right type of thing so he was the first person and then only yesterday i had a chap get in touch um from portsmouth he came up from portsmouth and um, he uh, came and got some walling, tegular walling. So yeah, some no, leftover yeah. tegular walling. And again, I think he was saying sort of 80, 100, you would have to buy in a pack. And he found someone in Norwich, like a few hundred pounds, and then he'd have to sort out delivery. And he just found ours again on Google, which is great. So obviously we're being found, which is fantastic. And... Um, yeah. He uh, he travelled up from Portsmouth and we had sort of 18 blocks left over. I think he said he needed like 10, 15, but great. So, you know, he came up, paid us, I forget, 75, 80 quid or whatever it was. Um, great for him. Yeah. Fantastic. He doesn't have to spend £400 delivery, whatever it would have been. Yeah. And yeah, uh, great yeah. for us. So that's kind of what you were just saying, those sort of small quantities. And that's the great sort of connection between us in the trades and um, the DIYers. And another one that I get quite a lot is doing underfloor heating systems. I have a, a roll and it may be 100 metres of pipe and the, the job's taken 60 and I think, okay, I'm going to keep that 40. I chuck it in my lockup. I've got rolls and rolls and rolls in my lockup. 40 roll, 40 metres here, 20 metres there. And next job I do, I'm going to go and buy a complete roll again because I don't, you know... 40 metres might not be enough, but but for a DIYer who's just done a little extension, they've got a kitchen or something like that, uh, a bit of underfloor heat, but absolutely perfect. I would give it to them, quite honestly, just to get rid of it. So, But I just yeah. can't bear the idea of chucking it in a skip, you know, so yeah, it sounds, it's that it, kind of thing. It sounds very familiar. We, uh, for several years, we, we um, well, one of the reasons I got quite involved, my background, I used to work in the property trade for many years, but obviously when you get into management, you're sort of stuck in an office dealing with people's problems all day and I miss being out and about and Matthew um, sort of uh, obviously working in the landscaping industry this was probably about eight years ago he said look this artificial lawn thing is getting really busy um, I need someone to come and sort of sell the dream if you like in terms of the artificial lawn now as it's transpired I've obviously helped him with recruitment I've pushed barrows on site I've got involved in every aspect of the landscaping business which is fantastic um, so it's got given me a great understanding of the industry. But back to my point, um, with the artificial grass, for several years, we thought, great, let's buy rolls. You save a couple of pounds a metre. Brilliant. But every time we would have a four metre by four metre piece left over at the end of the roll. So, of course, we've got a yard full of like three or four metre bits cut off four metre rolls. And you're like, oh, God. But again, for, you know, Mrs. Jones down the road, who perhaps just needs a little bit at the front of her. Uh, you know, we've had all sorts of people saying they need it for their pet run or, or what it, whatever it might be to sort of cut these small bits. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So nothing ever and wasted, get, I think, is our motto. <laughs> <laughs> and you will get the person who buys all your little bits and stitches them all together and makes a big oh, one out of them. Yeah, it's, but, you know, what, good, good luck to them. Good luck to them. Yeah. That's that's that that's the whole point. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, okay, so people can register on your site. They can, yep. uh, they become members or whatever, and then they can just start posting things. And what about people buying? Do they need to register as well or not? In terms of buying on there, yeah, very basically, though, they don't need to put too much sort of detail on there. Um, because um, just to give you an example, the chap who came up yesterday, he sent me a message um, and actually gave us some very good feedback about, um, you know, wanting confirmation that the message being received, etc., which obviously we're, we're working on at the moment. But um, in terms of me messaging him back, he received my messages through the site. So he basically just had to put his email address and very basic information. But if you wanted to sell, of course you would have to put your address on a bit more information yes. because it's obviously your map comes up so it shows where you are and how close because the idea obviously when it gets busier you're going to be at a plot or, you know they're just down the road from me or or what have you obviously yeah. we've been a little bit tentative with the map um because to begin with, it was going off postcode. And I quickly realised that it showed exactly where someone lives. And in as much as ah, we, all know, we all know what the world is like, if you, for instance, were advertising where your yard is, people would think, brilliant, I'll just tip up there and well, certain individuals yeah. and, and sort of take yeah. what you've got. So we then did it very much off a town basis. Obviously, once you have dialogue with the person that you're buying or selling off, you would arrange a time to meet and that sort of thing. And if you look on the site, you'll see we're very sort of strong in terms of advising people to be very cautious, time of day, where you're going to meet, that sort of thing. You don't want to get bopped over the head and someone nicks off with, with whatever cutter or whatever they're buying from you. <laughs> see somebody knocking you over the head and running off with your paving slabs. Good luck to them, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can imagine, obviously, <laughs> with the, reason no, the, site, <laughs> the reason the site took no. so long to sort of um, produce, if you like, is all these eventualities came up throughout the creative process. I mean, it started, it, I appreciate your, your comments about the name. Um, actually, I came up with the name, so I'm going to take the... <laughs> take the uh, gratitude for that one but um but, and actually you mentioned american an american connection and we did have to bid on the um on the uh in my yard.com and we've also got that code at uk which is That's in right. the uk and we bought that from an american company so yeah oh, that was the starting point of the business um yeah. and then we um obviously then had to design a logo i mean what Coming from a sort of sales and, and landscaping background, perhaps uh, I'll be honest, neither myself or Matthew were that brilliant when it comes to technology. Um, so it's been a yeah. huge learning curve right the way through the process from designing our own logo, as I say, naming the company, doing sort of everything to do with trademarks. Yeah, fascinating stuff, though. Yeah, if you ever get stuck building a website, just get a five-year-old. That's all you need. I know. Um, <laughs> I have a young girl. How to do it. Yeah, apologies. I might look a bit tired. She had me up in the night, <laughs> <laughs> sort of two and a half. But you know, she's there already with the with the iPad, as you yeah. say. And yeah, blimey, running oh, rings yeah. around me already. But uh, there we yeah. are. No, well, that's good. I, I, I wish you well with it, and I will definitely be on it. I'll be registering it uh, as soon as I get the details. And um, I've got a fair few things to sell, and I'm sure a few other people have. Interestingly, the other thing is I go to quite a lot of companies um, in my travels over the years. I've visited lots of different manufacturers and merchants and so on. And sometimes you go there and you see a load of stuff lying in the corner. You say, what's all that? And they say, oh, that's 5,000 SDS drill bits that we uh, ordered, you know, yeah, frustrated yeah, yeah. export or whatever it is, you know. But but they've got them sitting there and they don't want them. They don't want them in the in a way. And they say, you know, if we can get 20p each for them we'll we get rid of them we need somebody to take all five thousand of them at 20p each and then obviously somebody does and then breaks them down and puts them in the car boot sales or whatever but but there are all those kind of opportunities out there manufacturers who just say do you know what we change the color of this product we just need to get rid of these empty our shelves exactly. and they are willing exactly. to do it at a loss sometimes you know so there are some real opportunities and some bargains out there and if you become known for that if you Obviously, in those situations, they want somebody to take all of it, not just a bit. But, it, you know, all these things open up to you. You know, you, you'd be amazed how many people there are sitting on stock that they no longer need. Well, interestingly and, uh, enough... It's costing them money. 
it's, it's not free to store things, is it? It's interesting that no, you say true. that because we, we have run a, a bit of a promotion, sort of 50% off for, for the annual memberships for commercial people at the moment. So it's sort of in, enticed them yeah. into joining up um, for the commercial yeah, yeah. memberships. And I should say, obviously, with the commercial, I, and I don't know if I mentioned you have your own shop, you link it to your website for you can sort of take yeah. payments directly through your website. One of the things we quickly found out with the with the website is everyone's yeah. got different accountancy functions. So you can do that. And social media, I should should say we're on um uh facebook um at imy socials is our uh, we are on instagram a little few technicalities with that at the moment but hopefully that will get resolved soon so it's at imy socials so you can follow us so, you know we give gonna have some giveaways we've got a makita radio we're about to give away in a competition so yeah exciting times and and you know people like yourself we'd love to have you on board yeah, yeah. Well, we'll certainly, um, we'll certainly give it an airing and, uh, and watch your progress. But as I say, I will be one of your first, um, well, I want to say first, you have, I don't know how many people you've already yeah, got on it. Yeah, got a few on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm too late to be first. All right. Okay. Well, I'll be, uh, I'll be a, a runner up. But that's fine. That's absolutely send, fine. Send me your um, details. I'll send you a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We've well, got some yeah, merch. I'll, I'll send you some merch. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Um, okay, that's brilliant. Thanks for talking to us, Clive, and uh, I wish you well with it. Really yep. appreciate and we'd be your time. Interested, we'd be interested to know in the comments below the, the video what people think of it. That's great. Thank you very much. All the best. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. I just click on join for free. You'll see you've got social media sign up or you can use your email and uh, sign up to the terms of business. I'm going to log in, so just bear with me one second. Right, so once you've signed up, you will be sent a verification email. And uh, when you click on verify, it should take you through to the subscription page. So you can see you've got a variety of options. Uh, you've got a free option, which will certainly be a benefit to many. Uh, you can put up to three adverts on there, just give you a flavor for the website, see how it works. You've got a top trader option, which gives you 25 adverts uh, you can have more photos larger photos you've got 24 hour advanced viewing of new listings on the site which is very useful and you've got a live chat as well so a little bit more interactive you've also for those that um, have uh, commercial businesses selling to the trades you've got a couple of commercial options so you've got a commercial and commercial plus with 100 or unlimited adverts and the benefit of that, the huge benefit is you can have your own shop, you can link it to your website, you can put all your social media in there. So, yeah, fantastic if you're a business that's looking to sort of sell old stock or to introduce some new products to the market. So I'm just going to click into the edit profile page. So once you've picked your membership, put in your details. You can put an image in there if you wish to or an emoji, whatever uh, suits you. So once you've done that, you click on save changes. We'll take you back through to what we call your dashboard in the back here. You'll see there's a couple of places you can sell something. So I'm just going to click on that. Takes you through to this page. So if we just uh, click on get started now, you will see you've got uh, where you add your title, a uh, description of what it is that you're selling. You've got a variety of different categories uh, to choose from. If you can't find what you're looking for, let us know and we'll add it for you. You've got a description there. So once you've clicked on save and continue, uh, it will take you through to where you add your photos, depending on which membership you've got will depend on how many photos you can add. And once you've done that, you can post your advert up and away you go. Let the inquiries come in. So just taking you back to the main page here. So I'm going to scan down. Just bear with me. So you can see the categories. Uh, you'll be au fait with plenty of these, just artificial lawn, brickwork, uh, etc. If you click on view categories, I think there's about 45 will pop up. So plenty of choice for you. Again, if it's not there, let us know and we'll look to add it for you. Assuming it's not bikes or chocolate bars. Obviously, it's got to be trades related. You can see there, you can actually sign up at the moment to the end of the month uh, under professional uh, membership, a commercial or top trader paid membership, and you get 50% off. So 
that's worth doing. But also with the annual memberships, you get one of these nice in my yard um, flasks. Keep your drinks hot or cold. This section here is greyed out. Unless you're logged in um, and you've got one of the paid memberships, as I mentioned, you've got to wait 24 hours to see all the adverts. Uh, not too long to wait, though. Um, excuse the uh, cat there for the uh, testing that the guys are just doing on the site. But you'll see we're starting to get a lot of different listings on there. You've got blocks, you've got electrical items, you've got fence treatment. So plenty of choice there uh, just to give you some ideas. You can see we're sponsored by Higher Services Southern. They're about to get a new photo on there because they're moving premises. You've got some kind words that people have written about us there, obviously lying through their teeth. Um, joking aside, you've got IMY Socials. For those that don't know, we're on Facebook. And we're also on Instagram, as you can see here. Uh, these are the shops. So to give you an idea, commercial membership. A shop looks something like this. You can have a banner ad. You can have your uh, logo. Um, and uh, you can see the listings there. So if we just scoot down to the bottom of the page, you might take a second to catch up. You can also see you've got contact us, you've got about us, how it works, just about out of time, FAQs, take a look at those. So in myyard.co.uk, 